by random things really we've got random food here we've got a random food selection we're going to be talking about random topics and i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are returning hello it's nice to see you again if you are new welcome i hope you enjoy the content and i hope you are here to stay so without further ado let's get into it So for our selection of feasts, we have some big ass vegetable spring rolls, okay? And um, we've got some Nando's chicken wings, and we have some Twizzlers. If you guys are from the UK and you remember Twizzlers, leave a comment down below. Um, we have some coleslaw from Nando's. And yeah, this is going to be a random, a randomest thing yet. This is sushi now we obviously are not going to start off great because i believe if you're going to be trying sushi especially if you've never had it before i think we should have just gone to a proper sushi restaurant but we were really like just trying to live life on the edge um and we grabbed some sushi select and go i've had it once somewhere in like this um when i was going to this modeling we went to this modeling agency rooftop Party had sushi. and they had sushi and we tried one and it was just not nice but I don't know I don't know what it was do you know what I mean so I'm not really sure basically we're gonna find out in it and I got chopsticks can't have sushi without chopsticks why can you use your finger isn't it a bit quicker yeah but you have to do it the sushi way so I'm gonna try my spring roll my brother is on a no carb diet so he's not allowed any of the spring rolls yeah, that's it, so I'm going to be enjoying the swimmers on my head. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying with this, this. Is it good? No. It's not like primary school? Mm. Mm. That's a shame. This is good. Were you born in the UK? No. Freshie. Where were you born? I'm not freshie. I'm not born in the UK. Well, because I was born in the UK, that means my pressure. Does that mean when you come to Nigeria? I'm a JJC. Mm. When you were younger, what did you want to be? I wanted to be a footballer, but you know how families like, you know how Nigerian parents are. Ah, you're going to go and play football. Why do you play football? Focus on your education. My brother was actually really, really good. From there? Really, really good. Could have made it. Could have. And also... You could have been living large. Also... I didn't chase football because of love. Or lust. Okay. Mm. <laughs> because if, of lust. If we're being if real. Lost, yeah, if we're being real. For if real. we're being real. I think it's lust, to be honest, because. Of lust. What yeah. do I know back then about love? Nothing. Yeah, so. Love, you know, the agape love of Christ. <laughs> nearly, I nearly made it. I went into. Um, yeah. Southampton football club mm -hmm. and I was told to come back yeah. but in my head I was like oh, why am I going to leave the person that I'm with in London and come all the way in Southampton oh my god and then I thought god you're going to be living large I thought nah man and again me mm -hmm. I was supposed to go me as well they told me to bring a letter and a video of myself playing football I thought yeah I had a live Instagram live session today for the for, for you guys that don't know, I do a live session every month on my Instagram. So definitely follow my Instagram at Tony Adiz. I'm at Tony Adiz everywhere. So all socials at Tony Adiz. Um, and we're talking about rejection and disappointment. And I had um, Toby on on as my guest, and it was we were just speaking about um, the times that you know we faced rejection or um, disappointment and how it kind of shaped us, made us feel at the time, um, where we kind of found our turning point. So, I bring that session here. What are the things that you kind of think about in your past or things of recent that you've kind of gone through that has made you feel rejected or disappointed? Ooh. Everyone knows this. You know, when I was working in the ambulance, mm. um, yeah, when I was fairly dismissed. Yeah. To me, That's I felt, what I said as well. That was when I was. Yeah, I felt, I felt rejected and I was disappointed because. The manager, the manager was the one that done the investigation mm. and the disciplinary as well. Mm. Not until later on when, when I found out, and I was like, nah, I should have chased this. Before. Obviously, you've got a son. <laughs> Shout out to you for sure. Um, what I guess in like how you know like co-parenting and whatnot. 
what are the like key elements that you are trying to um, instill in him at such a young age? Like he's how old? It's going to be nice. Eight. 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 Yeah, I'm going to be nine in September. Boy. And then next year, double figures. Oh, Lord. Fun fact. My nephew, who come, is born a day before me. What? A day after. Thank goodness, because I didn't want him to be born on my birthday. <laughs> I was hoping and praying that day. You didn't want him to take a shower? I was like, no. Because I remember my birthday, Um, my nephew's mum, that's when she started having contractions. I said to her, girl, you better hold it in. <laughs> you better hold it in. So luckily, he wasn't ready for my birthday. So it was born the day after. So yeah, we get our own day. We don't have to share. Teaching him to be more open. Mm -hmm. You know, to speak his mind. To be able to speak his mind. Let your mind be known. And make sure your no is your no. And your yes is your yes. It's funny because when I look at all of my nieces and nephews, like they're all obviously they're in each part, they're their own person, but it's mm. so fascinating to see the kind of character that they have at that age. And I think with him, I got to know him a bit more like when he came, maybe like I can't remember when, but there was a particular, particular time that he came to the house and he stayed over and he was here for a while. The boy's funny, <laughs> like he's actually funny. And I'm just like, oh my days, you actually. I was like, Patrick, you're actually funny, dude. I was like, yeah. I can't remember what he said, but it was just nice to know that, okay, this is his character. Because for the longest time, his character kind of got, got like, it, it shied away when he's with his cousins and stuff. He, he, he doesn't fully, I don't know, he doesn't fully show, show himself mm. as much. So, but when he was by himself here, and we kind of were speaking, I had to, like, say that, no, that's the wrong one. What are you doing? That one goes with that one, that one goes with that one. Put it back. When he came, I was able to like, talk to him more and interact with him a bit better. And I actually was, like, got a sense of his character. Like, he's really funny. Um, and he's just bubbly, man. He's just so, so bubbly. But it, so it's really nice just to speak to each of like, my nieces and if you just spend time with them when I can. Um, being away from like being away from London is harder, I guess. Um, you're right there. It's harder because obviously, like I said, I'm not I'm not near them as much, so it does get a bit difficult to um, interact with them. So and also it's like I have to make a schedule to call them once a week, at least once a week, because I'm just like I need to speak to these children because they need to remember who I am or know who I am at least. Um, and I don't ever want it to be like oh that auntie that you don't remember who she is that like, oh. That auntie yeah, that so, don't call us. Yes, I'm that trying to. It's so hard work at the same time because. It's like I'm trying to be the auntie that I never had. I wished I had an auntie or an uncle. That like, you know, you could just call. That like, oh auntie just or speaking, uncle, yeah. what's good? Like, how are you? Oh, mom's doing this, man. Talk to talk to mommy, please. That like, I want to go there or oh I need this or I need that. Do you get I me? Mean? Like that's what your aunties and uncles are supposed to do. That's what they're there for. But obviously my aunties and uncles, they're abroad. So basically <laughs> trying to be the auntie that I never had for my nieces and nephews. Just to make sure that you know they know that Auntie Debbie's there. Mm -hmm. Um, and at least even if you don't see me, you can call me. That's my chopstick. Oh, my all right. Can you not use them. Can you do it? Remember back in the days when you're going inside the house, I mean, you're in the living room, you're sitting now, and then you hear a knock on the door. Oh. Bam. Mm. Everyone's gone. <laughs> Everyone's disappeared. I'm not trying to be that type of dad. I'm trying to be the dad that if you're in trouble, you call me dad. Da, 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 da. Get, I'll get told off, but, but everything is done. Not that if I call my dad, hey, hey fire. Why lies here? Oh. Fire. <laughs> Look at them when they when they older. Now they're reducing with you as if. In there, like, you like, 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 So, so now you be this, Avi. I remember when, when I was young. Oh, God. And. My dad was like, oh, before he gets back home from work, I should have learned my time, how to tell time. Do you remember? Do you remember? He was like, oh, you will even help him me. Is that in Romero Square? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. my God. How the heck is a child meant to know time in like eight hours, please? <sighs> nah, it was wild. Oh, man. Wild. And then when he gets home, when when the when the key, that key when he goes into and the door. I remember, oh. I imagine you don't know this. You still don't know time. I used to don't know. Hey. <laughs> Bro, it's Just over. Just not I chopped, fix it. 
pizza. Just lay down there, go please. I chopped pizza in that day. <laughs> Even me, I know I chopped pizza. Yeah. In an African household, is actually it's funny. When you know it's time for church, I remember clearly when mom used to go to this church. Yeah, me and Lloyd, when mom was like, oh, we're going to church, we'd be like, okay, we'll go and sleep, thinking that she won't wake us up. She mm. won't, she wake us up. <laughs> so we'll now be so angry. <laughs> we'll now be going. We're in the car. We'll, be, we'll, sleep, we'll sleep in the car. Mm. She'll wake us up with it. And it wasn't even like a quick journey. It was just. It was, it was. I think it was four. Mm. The, the pastor, his wife, his daughter, and their grandma. Yeah. All these African people stop forcing your children <clears throat> to go to church. That's why when they get older, they don't go. Go to church. Oh, shit. Oh my lord. Halfway. No, don't get it, no wasabi. Get it, no wasabi, no. man. You're supposed to be involved, man. No, I don't like the wasabi. Hey, man. I think that's rice. It's rice, so she's okay. She can eat it. She's a go. No, they're still getting the wasabi. Oh, sorry. Dip the thing in there properly. <laughs> oh, what's that crunch? Cucumber. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's okay. Mm, oh, that's wow. yeah. mm. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bravo. I'm getting my lashes done by the deep spot. So we'll see you later. We'll see how it gets off. And my brows, my gosh. I just gotta thread them. They look like this from here though. Yeah. Just... No, yeah, that's what that's what that's what they do. That's it. And then it's just soft. <laughs> and then this so that's all they do. <laughs> and then when I thread them, it's like the beauty comes out a bit more. Yeah, but my, they, my, find, they find they find hair that was never there. Never there, honestly. Yeah, well, that's what I need to do to thread it so it can grow it easily. Hey guys, so I've done my eyelashes. Oh, oh my gosh! Now do my hair. Wait, I just came back up.
You have a scarf, okay. Far away, far away. Why do you always do this? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Why do you always do that? Why do you do that? You're so pretty. I don't know why your mom got your hair there. Mini. Your mom is a mini. Did you cut up her eyebrows as well? Or does she just not have eyebrows like me? Oh, I fit. Let's see why it's birthday today, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, so this is my uncle's house. Uncle and auntie. And we are in. Where are we, Auntie B? Where are we? Where are we? We're in Ileko. In other road. Akure. Ondo State. <laughs> So that's equivalent to. Let me ask. Mark, she's on the phone. Let me ask my other sister. Hold on, guys. Yeah, that's the oh. <laughs> so, as we say, we're in. There's no light here. As we say, we're in Ilekun, other road, Akure, right? So, I'm saying, what's the equivalent in in London? Like, I said this table now. You just said it. We're going to eat our food now. It's not complete. There's no drink. There's no water. Come back here, my friend. There's no water. Oh, you know me? And to be said, there's no water. Oh, yeah, she feels like it. Guys, we look alike, don't we? Come on, bless me. Come on, look. Eh? Whatever, just bring anything. Either the wine, the drink, the juice, the Fanta, the water. Just bring something, man. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? Hi, guys, so this is my second fit. Dressed like the people dress. So, this is my fit. It's a really cute dress or whatever. I think this is from um I don't know where I got it so much. But when they are she Sister Sisters You got panda eyes. Panda eyes. It wasn't the panda. You know panda No 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 no. Have you seen a panda before? Yeah, I've seen panda but Yes. Yeah, the March, right? What do you what do you, you don't do nothing, don't like <laughs> only my best friend? Why people drive? You don't do nothing. <laughs> nothing. You need to be using vitamin E or those like serum. I say you give me vitamin E, but it means I want Wrong sister. Wrong sister, wrong sister. It is gin. Like gin. So you drank then? So no, you don't know. Five tries. Oh. What do you think before? That you never drank. No. I think woman see. I wish you had prayed, prayed, prayed before. Back in your Shango days. Back in your Shango days. Okay, guys, where are we going? Where? Guys, we're basically going to my other uncle's house. The bride's parents' house. That's where we're going. What's the degrees today? It's like 40, man. This dog's always forever barking, man. Goodness. It's not boring today. Uh huh. Ah. 